don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. You are very great and you know it. We have learned how uh, King Herodes wanted to have baby Jesus killed. So we are going to read another version of scripture from the book of Exodus chapter 1. There, Exodus, it's written in Oshuambo. We are going to learn how Moses was born. Moses was born in a critical time when uh, people were being killed, but he didn't die because God loved him. He had an important assignment to take the people of uh, Israel from Egypt um, because uh, they were suffering there. They cried out before God and God decided to, to use Moses as a vessel, uh, as, a, as, a, as a soldier, as a... Um, yeah, to, to move the nation of God from Egypt. So it will encourage you to say uh, they have tried to kill Moses. They have tried all the means to kill Moses, but they didn't manage. So I want you to start reading the Bible. Learn what is written in the Bible because it will encourage you. A human being like me will not encourage you to the fullest. Yeah? Especially if you are familiar with me, you will be like, oh, this, this dinner from this car house. She's the one who is running a video and she wants me to listen. I will not listen. Hmm? Especially people f people who are from far. People, members of your own household, they don't understand what you are doing. They will not even maybe make time to listen to your clips. Even people from the, your village will be like, this this one from this house, this one who eats what what. They will always do those. That's why they used to do to Jesus to say, the son of a carpenter. Hmm? Joseph was a carpenter and when Jesus Christ was trying to to save them, to, to preach the word of God, to, to heal them. Um, they were just trying to, they were too familiar, that spirit of fam familiarity to say, ah, we know you, you, you is, is anything come, will anything come, will anything good come out of you? So, yeah. So I'm trying to say, I will not be able to encourage you to the fullest. You will obviously pick one or two words, but the true revelation, the true encouragement, comes from the word of faith, the word of God right there, as you can see. Um, this other portion of scripture is talking about how, it's talking about how uh, people were trying to have the children of Israel killed but they did not manage that's why we need to be fully and fully and fully encouraged so uh, before I get into the scripture I want you to you know uh, uh, father Abraham father Abraham was blessed with a child called Isaac and Isaac later gave birth to, to Jacob, whose other name was Israel. You know, God promised Father Abraham, God promised Abraham those days that uh, since you, um, my child, you are, you are he, was, he was called the father of many nations. He was righteous because Abraham had great faith. God uh, told Abraham that, listen, I will bless you. Go outside. He, it came by revelation through a dream. Um, go outside, count the stars. If you are able to count those stars, it means that you you, you will be able to count. Uh, it means that just to try to say your nations will be, you will have a great nation, a nation of God called Israel. That name came from uh, the fact that uh, one day it will be a topic of another day. One day, um, uh, one day, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. what am I saying? I'm saying, yeah, one day, um, uh, uh, Jacob uh, got a name, uh, Israel. So when you are hearing the children of Israel, it's that nation that came from uh, Abraham to, 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 to Isaac to, to, to Jacob who was having... 12, uh, 12 children and those are the tribes that multiplied and now we have what is called children of, children of Israel, the Israelites. 
so i want i just wanted to give you a short history so that you understand it better even when you go to the bible you you would know you would understand it better so uh one day the, the joseph um like i said uh jacob had 12 12 uh sons you know reuben simeon levi judah dan god all those 12 you have learned about them in school even through the bible you read them they are 12. so those uh, joseph brothers wanted to you know joseph was a star a star was born in the house and one day joseph told them that i listen i got dream i had i i, I got a dream that you guys were worshiping before me uh, we were binding sheaves in the field and uh, your all your sheaves uh, all your sheaves were lying down there uh, around mine and mine was standing upright yeah that one he had another dream whereby the moons and the stars were worshiping him it's a revelation that i will explain with time it's not for today because the video will become longer and longer and longer so um they tried to kill joseph but they didn't manage because you can't kill a blessing joseph was a seed you can't kill a seed so uh later on they decided no let's kill our brother what are we going to gain um that day when 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 joseph well, when joseph was asked to take uh some food to his brothers who were tending uh, the, the, the 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 flocks uh go and uh, deliver this food to your brothers but while he was coming from far they decided they connived to to to, to they they conspired to kill him and they said yeah here comes the dreamer. Let's see what what comes out out of out, out of, of his dream. We will see what comes out of him. So they they plan to kill him, but I I, I like the fact that they didn't end up killing him. Plus also the fact that uh, you can't kill a blessing. That person who is a blessing, you will never eliminate that person. You will try and try and try, and you will not manage. You will end up attracting evil in your household. So. Ah, uh, later on to cut the story short, yeah, Joseph. Um, what happened? Mm, Joseph. Uh, they later sold Joseph to to the Ishmaelites, and um, yeah, Joseph found himself in um, in Egypt, in the land of Egypt. Uh, and then he was placed in, a, in the house of Potiphar and Potiphar's wife wanted to sleep with Joseph but because Joseph is someone who fear God he decided to run away with his two feet and the wife of Potiphar decided to say aha you are running away from me uh, okay I will just he ended up in prison because he was accused that he slept he, he, he raped Potiphar's wife Joseph was in prison he was there and then um to cut the story short again, one time, a time came when uh, the king of Egypt had a dream and they needed, an, um, I mean, the dream was saying there will be seven years of abundance and there will come another seven years of famine. So the dream was trying to reveal the fact that uh, uh, abundance was coming in the land, meaning that they were going to be great produce. They should work hard, they pro should produce. Because immediately the, the seven years of abundance finished, they were going to, there was going to, uh, to come hunger. So, um, and then Joseph, um, after that, the hunger eventually came. No. So when the king uh, got a dream, uh, he wanted an uh, interpret. Inter he wanted someone to interpret the dream, but when they tried, they couldn't find anything who can interpret the dream. So they they um, the cupbearer uh, thought of Joseph and said, "There is a particular uh, uh, child of God, uh, a Hebrew in the in the prison." so that that he, he he's a dream interpreter so that's now joseph whom the brothers wanted to kill so the king decided to say mm, go and call for me joseph to come and interpret the, 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 the dream for me because he was really troubled by the dream uh, he was totally troubled so joseph eventually came and interpreted the dream after that um the king of Egypt decided to say, no, we are not going to look for anybody wise. You are wise and I know that you'll be the one to be able to direct this whole process of saving, uh, uh, putting, putting the, 
you know when there's great harvest you will be the one to keep it because you are wise you are a child of god so he ended up there in egypt and he become he became second in the rank you know after the king the second rank so that's why you hear that joseph was a prime minister because uh, of that in in some countries you can call it the vice president hmm? You can call it the baby, the vice president. Also, he held that uh, great title because he interpreted the dream correctly. And it's the work, the work of God. It's the making of God. So he became that one. And uh, famine started. Eventually, the, the, fa the, fa the famine came. Seven years of abundance passed. And Joseph had a great harvest. He kept the things in uh, the treasuries. Everything was full so that it would be used during the years of, seven years of famine. So his family ended up in Egypt. Even the brothers who wanted to kill him, they ended up in Egypt. So the, Joseph saved them. So it's a story of another time. For today, it was just for me to give you great history. So later on, Joseph also died and he left his family there. And then they were increasing in Egypt. So now our video is starting the hook of the video is starting now to say when joseph died and he left his brothers there later on the brothers also died and now there was a new generation and a, a new king came on board whom joseph meant nothing he didn't know that uh, joseph uh, was doing a good joseph was doing good things he, he saved the people from famine and so on. God saved the people through Joseph. So that king didn't know about all those uh, things that happened, all those good things that Joseph had done for, for Egypt. So um, they started, uh, the people of Egypt started to get jealousy. Say, ah, these people are increasing. You know, when they came into Egypt, they were 70 in total. It's the, it's the 11 brothers because Joseph is the 12th. So he was already in egypt as a prime minister to say and the 11 brothers came with their wives and children there were 70 in total so um they increased and there were no longer 70 because later on even uh jacob the father of the 12 sons uh, later came to egypt and now they were there I mean, yeah, in that number 70, he was also included. So uh, they started increasing and people became, uh, they, 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 they begin to fear them, saying these people are increasing. Maybe one day we will, we will have war, there, there will be war and they will just, together they will, they will overcome us or something like that. So since they were jealousy, the Egyptians, because they knew that the nation of God, Israel is the nation that God protects so, so much. It's a nation of God. They knew that, it will not be good for them when these people start increasing. So they, that's when they started introducing harsh labor, hard labor for the people to suffer, to say, yeah, these people are becoming too powerful for us. Let us introduce hard labor. They should suffer. They begin to multiply it, and it was worse. People were, you know, they, 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 they didn't have a choice because they are living in a foreign land, so they just had to go by it. So that's how they saved the Egyptians through hard labor. So now Moses, Moses, who now whom God later used to to save the people from Israel, was born during that time of yeah. Moses was born. It was that time. Uh, you know there were there were particular women. The two women. Uh, one of the. I think one of them is poor, poor, poor. P U. A age, uh, the king, the king decided that. Listen, when the Israelites are giving birth to the children, because they failed, they wanted to, to. When they introduced hard labor, they thought, yeah, they will give up or whatever. But they didn't give up. The nation of Israel was increasing like never before. Eh? They were still just working hard there, even if it's hard labor, they were just working and they were increasing and they were becoming powerful. So they introduced a measure to say every child um, that is born, an Israelite child, a male child, should be killed. Is it a male child? Let me quickly go to the word of God. Is it a male child or it was a child?
yeah 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 i got it it's here it's here right here the word of god says um when the king because people were becoming powerful the king introduced to say uh every male child should be killed so the king told the the the, the midwives uh, ladies who used who used to help people to to give birth he said when the boys when the the child the baby comes out of the tummy and that baby is a male a male child kill kill that baby but uh, the bible says these two ladies decided to fear god so they didn't kill the babies um and they the bible says continued to say uh, god bless them with their own children maybe they were not having children of their own and god helped them because they feared him uh, in uh, they didn't give in to the king's decree to to kill the babies and when they were asked to say why didn't you kill the babies i told you to kill them they just uh, put up uh, something and say no that the, the the hebrew women are not like egyptians women when we arrive we find them already they have delivered they, they have given birth already so yeah that's how it's been so uh one uh, just uh, that i said that is the time that um, moses was born so uh one woman from the tribe of levi uh gave birth to a child called moses now um since it was time that no male child should, should be seen no male child from the side of israel should be seen they should all be killed um the this lady from the tribe of levi decided to do it this way uh, she gave birth to a child. It was a beautiful child and she decided to hide him. I'm sure you have read about it and you are going to read it further because I will not explain it in detail or maybe I haven't said it correctly. God forgive me where I didn't say your word as it is. So she decided not to have him killed or throw him away although he, she knew typically that uh, people, no male child should be seen in this land of Egypt. So she, she decided to to nurse Moses for three months and one day when she was realizing that uh, uh, yeah, the baby is growing where am I going to keep the baby where am I going to keep the baby so she decided to she she put Moses in a, in a, in a basket I think there is a name for that basket I will just put it as a basket he put Moses in a basket a baby of three months in a basket and he put him by the bank of the river there and then uh, the, a princess from the palace, from uh, the king of Egypt's house, uh, was she went out with he, with her servants just by the river, maybe to to just view the nature or something, and they they saw a child. Um, I think one of the yeah they saw a child and they, they and she decided to to go and um, she decided to. To, to, to take care of that child. So now the, the, the sister, is it a sister? Yeah, the sister to that child just came by also and say, can I look for you a woman to take care of that child for you? Because uh, maybe the, the princess wasn't going to take care of him, the baby. So should I go get a, uh, someone for you to come uh, so that he, she, she takes care of the baby? And uh, so since that girl knows that it's her brother, she decided to go look for her own mother, the mother of the child, to say, let me go look somebody for you. So she uh, brought the mother and then the, the, the princess uh, decided to say, uh, take care of this child for me, I will pay you. You know the devil, the devil is planning evil, but it turns out for our good. So the mother ended up taking care of her own child and she's getting a salary from the the princess so that's how it happened and um what happens later later on uh, moses uh, was growing i mean later on moses grew into a big person and one day he realized you know you can live in a palace eating honey eating cheese and all the likes all those beautiful food and you know that your mother lives somewhere or you are coming from a poor background and you are living in that palace you would know if you are a wise person you would know that oh my gosh until when i will live here alone while my own people are are, are suffering from the harsh labor 
you know, the hard physical work. Because Moses was an Israelite, he's part of the team that is being molested in Israel. Is it molested? Huh? The, 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 the people that are suffering, he's from there because a Le, Levi, Levi is one of the, 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 the 12 brothers. So he decided to say, no, 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 until when I will be here. So he decided to leave the honey, the good food, the whatever it is that used to be served in the palace and decided to go visit his own people and he thought, oh, my people are suffering. And one day he found an Egyptian person uh, fighting with a Hebrew person and he decided to kill that person because he's, uh, he is mistreating uh, uh, people from, from his own tribe, from his own uh, nation. So uh, another day he went there and he found two Hebrew people fighting and he said, why are you fighting one another? Uh, you guys are one. Do you know that you are one? Um, but they decided his fellow Israelites, because they didn't understand the anointing that uh, Moses carried, uh, they said, hmm? who appointed you to rule over us? Eh? You want to kill us like the other time you killed an Egyptian uh, man and you buried him under the, the, the sand. You want to do that to us? Moses realized, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. So uh, what I did is, 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 is known. He decided to go to Midian to cut a story short. He got, he, he, he got a wife from uh, Midian there and he became, he grown into a big man. Now he's a big man. And one day when he was um, tending the flocks, he was looking after the, 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 the cattle or something. And then he just saw a... Uh, a bush burning. You know the story of the burning bush? That Moses, who was a baby, who was born during harsh time, hmm, was saved in a basket in a what? One day he was grown, he, he was a big man, and then he was tending the flocks, and he just saw uh, a, a, a bush burning, but it was not um, burning completely like, you know, it was not turning into ash or completely but there, it was just a burning it was just a, a bush burning then he decided to come closer and say ah what is this magnificent act that is happening here what's going on and god told him that uh, the place you don't go too near because the place you are entering is uh, a holy it's a holy place it's a holy ground remove your shoes because you don't go closer to to the anointing to the holy place with the shoes so that's why God told Moses to remove his shoes and he told him, uh, listen, um, my people, uh, the Israelites are crying. They are going through hardship and uh, it's getting worse. Uh, they have cried to, out to me to save them. So I'm going to use you to do that. And Moses was wondering, you know, you are appointed, you are coming from a little house, you are poor, and the excuses we are giving. If I come to you tomorrow and say, I'm going to appoint you Minister of Agriculture, you are going, of course, to say, oh my gosh, I don't know those things, my English is poor, I'm short, and people will not obey me, what, what, blah, 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 all those excuses that we give. Greatness is coming into your house, but you are fighting greatness by, by your excuses. So, so Moses begin to say, no, me, I'm, I even... Uh, Stutter. Is it stuta or stata? Uh, that thing when someone is speaking and they, they are not speaking out the full words, they will just like be like, if they are talking about bread, I'm trying to uh, make you understand the word. Stuta or stata? Stuttering, stuttering, stammering, stammering, that one. You uh, want to say bread and be like, b -b 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 -br that one. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm stammering and uh, who will obey me, blah, blah, I'm not ready, you know, I'm what, what. So that, that's how it started. But later, later on, um, he was told that he will, he will work with, with his brother Aaron. So Joseph will be like, I mean, Moses will be like in, a, in the place of God. He will be like a, a mini God while his uh, brother Aaron Aaron, is it Aaron? Yeah, will be like Moses. I don't know if you understand, but I'll explain it in another video or another time to say uh, Moses will be the one, will be the representative of, of God to the Israelites and, and together with Aaron, they are going to do it together. So that's how it happened. Later on, they were delivered. That's why we are, it's written in the book of Exodus. Exodus is it means to, to, to live, to exit, to live 
to leave the place of slavery they were in the place in the land of slavery the land of egypt when they were subjected to harsh labor now it was time for them to go to the promised land you understand the 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 the, the story of the promised land that god decided to take them out of the land of slavery where joseph left them eh? And now they were on their way to the promised land. So God used someone. There will always be someone as a leader to, to lead the whole team. And that's how it happened. The rest of the things, we'll, we will speak about them in another video. This video, I want to take you to the beginning. When I was talking about um, King Jesus, King, when I was talking about King Jesus who um, suffered. Oh no, he, he did not suffer. Let me not put it that way. He only suffered later when he was crucified. But in the beginning, during, during his birth, people wanted to kill him, but they, they didn't manage. So I want to encourage you to say, even Moses was born in a time when people were killed, but he didn't die because he carries a seed. He carried the anointing of God to go and save the nation of Israel from the harsh labor of Egypt. So don't give up what you are going through. If people are trying to kill you, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. You are very great and you know it. The devil, one thing you need to understand is that uh, the devil does not uh, go or run after the people who are not going anywhere. The devil always runs after the anointing, the people who are, uh, uh, he, whom he knows are going to do great in the society. You are going to improve your house. That's why he knows that after university, you will begin to work and maybe buy a car, you buy a Range Rover or Land Cruiser, Toyota Land Cruiser for your family. And he does not want, he knows that you are going to uplift your village to do what he doesn't want. So he doesn't chase, he, do, he doesn't chase anyone who is not going anywhere. If you are going through trouble, If you are going through trouble, it means that you are great. Continue pushing. Jesus Christ never promised us that you are not going to go through anything. But he just said that there are troubles in this world, but he has overcome the world. So let us uh, be encouraged. Go, go read the Bible. Drop a question there. Maybe there are things that I didn't say the way they are. I didn't speak right about the word of God or there's just something I didn't address well. Drop a comment and challenge you. Say, Dina, you said Moses was what? Mm -mm. That's not what happened. Or you say Jesus was what? That's not what happened. Or you want to ask a question. You want clarity. I'm here for you. I'll be able to do that. So... Yeah, just like what happened to Moses, later he was used to deliver the people of Israel and then they were passing those through those the uh, wilderness, the deserts, because people ended up also not obeying God. Yeah, it's just to say that God will protect you until his assignment is fulfilled and you will go to heaven when you serve the Lord. Let's, let's strive to, to see heaven. Let's not just give in. Don't commit suicide because of a problem. You are not alone. Everybody is, uh, ah, almost everybody is going through something. There are people who tell you that, uh, yeah, the person was born in 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 in, 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 a, in the church, you know, else in church. All of a sudden, they they are in Oshiveva, the 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 revival churches, the the Pentecostal churches. Eh? What did they see? What did they see in the other churches? And, and then now they are, they are going through problems. Huh? People are labeled like that. You, 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 you go to the church that is preaching the gospel of God and people will, will, will say, yeah, they are the ones who are having problems. It's not true. In fact, those people are delivered from problems. Now they know Jesus. They know the tactics of the devil. When the devil is trying to come this way, they know how to escape. They know the issues. And it doesn't mean that they don't go through problems. They go through issues, but God will make sure that they are delivered out of trouble. Because if you are not serving the Lord, you need to be careful. Sometimes you don't know, you, you are not anchored on the word of God. You are doing things according to your own understanding. So you will not be able to sustain yourself. That's why... You will not be able to sustain yourself. That's why you need to serve the Lord. I'm trying to say, don't say that people who go to Pentecostal churches are the ones who are in, 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 in problems or trouble. Mm -mm. Those ones are not in problems. Those who don't go to church, those, those who don't serve God fully are the ones that are, they are, that are going through issues. You just don't know that you are in mud, mud water. You don't know that there is a problem, but it is there. I'll explain it another time. So let us uh, 
stop saying those who go to church are the ones who are going through trouble. Okay, maybe they have they had problems, but now the problems are solved. So you need to continue serving God because you don't only. I hear people saying, "Yeah, I wanted to be, to be delivered through Pentecostal churches, and uh, I will not con- I will not continue serving there. I just want to be delivered." You, you know what? If a problem is uprooted, maybe you are rejected by people. People are accusing you of things. You are in the workplace. Nobody likes you. Money get lost. It's you. The check get, got lost. It's you. Hmm? Something happened in the workplace. It will always be you, 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 because the demonic has attached a demonic uh, bad luck on you. It will be you. Money get lost. It's you, and uh, it's uprooted now. You, you get you. You went for prayer. There is no. They, now people are not rejecting you. They are respecting you and blah blah blah, uh, what not. And you decided that you will not continue serving the Lord. It will keep on coming back. Have you read the, uh, the Bible verse that says? After the, the, an evil spirit is delivered from the person, it goes through arid places looking for a place to rest, but it will not find it. Hmm? When it does not find that place to rest, the, 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 the evil spirit, it decided to say, ah, I will go back to the... To, I will go back to... I will go back to the house where I'm coming from. It's your body now because bodies are the houses now of those things. When you are subjected to those things, it's like you are their house. I will go back to this same person and I will continue dwelling in that body. So it goes back there and decide to go back there. But when it goes back, it will find the house clean. You are a human being now who is clean. Eh? You are clean because you have the word of God in you. You are serving God fully in truth and in spirit. Uh, you are delivered from the problem. There's no way to come back to you because now you are clean. You are no longer committing sins, but you are clean. An evil spirit will not dwell in the body that, in the body that is clean. So now uh, that uh, verse continues by saying, I think it's Matthew 12, 38, if I'm not mistaken. Is it Matthew 12, 38? So that spirit comes back to your body and your body is now clean. The Bible says that evil spirit, go back and look for the, 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 the seventh evil spirit that is more wicked than itself. So although it's wicked already, it will get the other sevens that are more wicked than itself. And the, they will come dwell in that person because there are a lot now. They will try to enter you and now they are dwelling in your in your body and the bible says the situation the condition of that person will become worse i'm trying to say don't only go for prayer serve the lord because the demonic comes back even if you are a child of god you are serving god they they sometimes sometimes they they will just find a way to come back especially if you commit a sin set because now you are participating in the activities of satan you have opened a wrong door and the enemy will come back so now i'm saying serve the lord don't finish don't only go for prayer and you continue doing things that are that are bad Mm -mm. this evil spirit will come back for you serve god continue serving god so that you don't you don't give it a room you don't give it a chance to come back you remain a clean individual thank you so much for taking time to listen i know these videos will be longer but uh, i want to encourage you that no matter how long the video is try to listen to it until it's complete thank you so much um i thank god for giving me an opportunity to shoot videos in my village everything happens for a reason i came here but uh, you know you are not even sure if you are going to shoot anything but yeah i here i am standing here shooting a video i thank god and thank you for coming back thank you for believing in the vision i bless the lord and uh, i thank god for your lives thank you so much